And Sherry, I want to thank you and your members again for their participation here, as well as the uh, the sod and the beautification of the mansion grounds uh, through the time that we've been here. It's a great partnership, just as our urban ag industry, our green industry association has been great partners in beautifying our state. Thank you very much, and come speak to us about that. Thank you, Governor. On behalf of the green industry in Georgia, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Governor Sonny Perdue and Director Carol Couch for allowing the Georgia Green Industry Association to be here and to take part in this very important project. Your dedication to the people of the industry means a lot. The last few years have been very difficult ones for those of us engaged in horticulture in the state of Georgia. A historic drought followed by economic downturn has wreaked havoc on an industry that is a major cog in the economic engine of our state. Our industry, though often under the radar of most Georgians, has had an annual $8 billion impact on the economy of our state and has provided for over um, 75,000 jobs for Georgians. Despite the challenges of the past few years, I'm proud to say that our members are resilient and have met these challenges head on with determination, dedication, and passion for an industry that not only brings jobs to the economy, but also adds to the beauty and the environmental quality of our state. Today's announcement, lifting water restrictions, represents a new era in Georgia, and the formal dedication of this beautiful garden leaves no doubt that the green industry and its members are committed to the ongoing values of water conservation. When GGIA was presented the opportunity to participate in this project, we recognize the value that such a garden would have in demonstrating that sustainable landscape and water conservation are not mutually exclusive terms. Our members have transformed a bare patch of earth into a beautiful, living, and breathing example of the best and most efficient landscape and irrigation management practices. Every detail of this project was designed and implemented with an eye towards conservation, from improving the soil quality with organic amendments to putting the right plant in the right place. From the high efficiency drip and match precipitation irrigation equipment to the mulch layer that helps retain soil moisture, this garden is truly a model of what all landscapes in Georgia should hope to achieve. All of this was made possible by the generous offer of Governor Purdue, allowing us to demonstrate these practices on such a high profile and by the 875 member organizations of GGIA who donated their time, talent, materials, and labor to make this project a success. As we emerge from this historic drought, the green industry is committed to the lessons we have learned. Even when water is abundant, we must protect the resources at our disposal. It is now time to turn from regulation to education. The citizens of Georgia have demonstrated their ability and willingness to conserve water, and GGIA and our partners like the Georgia Waterwise Council and others will continue to do our part to promote an enduring mindset of conservation. Our mandate is to help the way, lead the way in education and the practical application of these shared values. It is the hope and intent of the green industry that this project will serve as a model for the future. It commemorates our dedication to water conservation. It celebrates the partnership between the green industry and the state of Georgia. It stands as testimony to what our green spaces and landscapes can do to preserve our precious resources. Thank you.